Yeah, hi guys, Morris here, uh, and actually I've caught up with Hayden, and um, we're just sitting in the uh, lounge, just relaxing, and we're just talking, so we thought we'd get some footage and just uh, sharing some stuff, so tell us about your story, man. Okay, so like, um, I've been a Christian for like seven years, I um, love the Lord, I have a real love for the Lord, but uh, for, for a long time I always thought that, you know, being a Christian was about getting everything right and um, living up to a standard, um, and, and and in a sense it is, but it's a standard that I can never meet. And um, until I understood that, until I really got that I couldn't meet that standard, um, my whole Christian life was based on striving. And when I got it wrong, I would I would leave church because I didn't feel good enough for God. And then I begin to understand that actually. You know, Jesus died on the cross because I couldn't get it right. And if I could get it right, then Jesus had died for nothing. And so I just remember this one time, like I, I went to this I went to this Christian camp and I'd, I'd just been dabbling for the last six or so months in drugs and alcohol and I hadn't been to church for a long time. And I just, I just sat there and, and the songs that, were being played with songs that I used to remember from a time when uh, I was really strong with the Lord and uh, and I just remember saying in my heart Lord I, I, I really want to sing these songs I, I want to sing them I want to worship you but how, how can I sing these songs when only yesterday I was doing this and I was doing that and and I just I just felt this real angst in my heart like I wanted to worship the Lord but I didn't feel that I had any any sort of anything to give God, I guess, and it was at that point where I really felt the Lord spoke to me and said, you're worshipping me right now, before I even opened my mouth, before I even sang any words, he said, you're worshipping me now, because it was about the state of my heart, and my heart, it was a des just a desire to worship him, and there's a lot of people that sing the words, but in their heart, they got other things going on, and it just kind of occurred to me that that's the whole point of grace. Is it's, it's, it's got nothing to do with what I can give God, but everything to do with what God can give me. And so I begin to just have a, a heart transformation and, and, a, and a whole new understanding of who God was. And from that point, my life has never been the same. Awesome. So where do you see yourself for the next few years? Um, well, I'm currently doing a Bible college. Um, really feel that God has, has put an evangelistic edge on my life. And, um, you know, I, I first come to the Lord, I got a prophetic word saying that there was a pastoral evangelistic spirit on me, and I really didn't get what that meant. I had no idea, didn't know the lingo, I wasn't down with the terms. And um, as, I, as, I was, as I was growing in the Lord, I began to understand what this actually meant, and it was really true of my heart with music it's it's uh it's sort of evangelistic in, in itself and um then one day I, I remember walking down the road and, and i said i said to the lord you know what what actually are you calling me to and i felt that he said to me that he was calling me to something bigger than what i actually imagined and and i heard these words in my mind that said he said i'm not calling you to evangelize only to the lost but also to the saved and for me, that sort of blew my mind because my understanding of evangelism was about reaching the lost. And so to evangelize to the saved didn't really make much sense. But as I, as I went back and studied the word evangelism and learned that it meant, you know, to preach the good news, to, to share the good news, I, I began to understand that there's a lot of saved people, though they are saved, have no understanding whatsoever of how good the news is. And so that was me, as I was speaking about before, for seven years in and out of church, I, I was saved, but I didn't actually understand the good news. And I wished that somebody had sat with me and evangelized me and shared the good news with me so that I could understand that. So I guess that's where I'm going. I, I guess that my call in my heart and, and what I feel to do in my life is is to share the good news with the lost and to help the, the saved understand how good the news really is. Awesome. Thanks, Ed. Yeah, cool. Bless you, bro. You too, man.